So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. These guys throwing early. Another punch position. And they separate. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he... Now the uppercuts are coming. He better start moving. He cannot stand here and eat these uppercuts. Battle for position here. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Level. This is exactly what he needed to get a takedown and secure the position. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? No when to hold him. No, no when to hold him. Yeah, absolutely. Go. He's attacking on board now. And he's out. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, side control now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Choi's got the full mount. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Relentless pressure from the top by Choi. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Back to his feet. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Choi. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Big right hand. Superman punch. Right back in the clinch. Look for the backhand. Double leg active. lands. Oh, nicely done as he gets the takedown. Fighters back to their feet here. That's a really strong leg kick there by Choi. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice punch land over the top. Nice defense there, huge block. This could change the fight. Another takedown play. Job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Choice has got full mount now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. Five minutes, 
Brooks in the box. Oh, Tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Punch coming. It's blocked. Oh, single collar tie here. Nice punch, Lynn. Over and over. You come up, you go down. Enough to take down Lynn. Full guard now, DC. For the top fighter, you gotta be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. Try to build posture. But if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick off the hips and get back to your feet. I mean, how many can he take? Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, and now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, in the night, that will land it right on the spot. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Takedown attempt is good. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. All right, gotta be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions. And now he's jumping on a triangle. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well that if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Just misses with the jab there. Look at this. We talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Wow. Actually got the take now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on this. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this. Looking for a guillotine. And he's out. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Back to the feet now. All right, so just as we saw in the previous round, really starting to find a home for that hook here in round two. I watched him land hook after hook 
in round one. We start the second round, and he goes right back to the well. But well, why wouldn't he? He has one of the best hooks in the entire game. Big elbow there, Lance. He has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy. Another big kick out. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Working out of the half ball here. Oh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy, he keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arms. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded upon into the mat or if you're going to give your back up where he will then start to chase chokes. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. Still nice body kick lands. Ooh, what a punch. He blocks the punch. Ooh, how about that defense into offense, and certainly the reach advantage paid dividends there. Blocks the strike and immediately counters with a straight punch. Oh, collar tie. Look at the control and the posture as that big knee lands. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Choi. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, Superman punches. Nice entry into the finish direct. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be troubled defensively. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground. Zone. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. He's gonna start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking, because he's getting choked. He might get a finish here! Oh, man, that was slick. Under three minutes now to go in this third and final round. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, another brutal hook by him there. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. He was able to fight through them in the previous round. Still plenty of time to go in this round. Still plenty of time to go in this round. And if he is not careful, one of those hooks will put him to sleep. Just missed with the left there. Nice punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Just misses there with the left. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. I'm not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh! oh! oh effective strike there by the Korean Super Bowl. Beautiful takedown. 
All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Close guard. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting oh. back up. Oh! trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Well, he's gonna enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night.